While subdivisions are excellent for creating many types of shapes that were not previously easy to achieve, odds are you'll still want to combine this geometry with 3D objects that you create via the more traditional means. To that end, subdivisions have been designed to be converted to many other types of geometry through multiple means. This last section details how you can get to those types of geometry. First, getting mesh objects and 3D polygons. To convert a subdivision to a mesh object, you need only select the subdivision and then use Modify, Ungroup. You'll be asked if you want to ungroup high-level objects. Say yes, and the result will be a mesh, contouring as your subdivision did. If 3D polygons are desired, it's just one step further. Double-click on the mesh to edit it, and all of the facets will be made available to you as 3D polygons directly. If NURB surfaces are desired instead, then the original subdivision object can be selected, and Modify, Convert, Convert to NURBs can be used upon it, to generate surfaces directly. These surfaces will attempt to section themselves similarly to how the subdivision cage was sectioned before conversion. Subdivisions themselves can also be converted directly to generic solids as well, with no intermediary phases required in between. With Modify, Convert, Convert to Generic Solids. Subdivisions can also be acted upon like any 3D solid, and both the Add and Subtract Solids commands can be performed on them as you might expect, leaving behind a manifold or watertight solid in the case of solid operations performed on subdivisions created from the 3D solid primitives, such as the cube, cylinder, torus, and sphere. Also note that once the subtraction is done, you can still edit the solid subtraction, or solid addition, and get at the subdivision object underneath if you want to make changes again. Finally, other tools that modify 3D geometry can be used on them as well, such as the split tool in line mode. If we split a subdivision, we'll result with two CSG solids, which similar to added or subtracted solids, give you a history that can be edited at will. All of these capabilities were carefully considered when developing this tool, to let you use your 3D geometry for any purpose you desire.